Oh, 37.40. Could be onto something at last. Been here over an hour and all I've been finding is bits of pesky lead. Pesky moo tube. That's a tubus mooers. Oh, this is this day's a bit of a disaster. What I'm finding is cack. Ugh. Oh, I must be onto something by now. Oh, that's a high number. It could be silver. Definitely be going back to the dream field tomorrow. As if Mark don't want to go somewhere different. Oh, I can see it. Oh no, no! It's a bit of copper pipe. Oh. Finally, you might have something. It's in there. What's that there? Is it a bit of cack? Oh. oh, more cack! It's not going very well today. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a part of a, a shotty, isn't it? It's got to be, because it's got the paper. Oh, oh, it's a disaster. It's a disaster. Oh, it could be a hammy, 1222. Yeah, I thought I'd try this field, because last time I was here, I found quite a lot of good stuff. So I thought I'd go back to the location where I was finding the good stuff. There seems to be a few more signals here, so I might be in luck with finding something epic. Love a bit of lead. This is disastrous. Mm, Twelve twenty six. Twelve twenty six. Is that a rock. It is a rock. Go big one. that. <laughs> we have another bit of pesky lead. Right next to this great big rock. Oh, come on. I don't think it's going to be a moo tube. All these rocks on top. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Not more cack. 
Oh, I feel like giving up. <laughs> I've got a nice signal here and I've got another signal nearby. Double tap. Oh, 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 uh oh, uh oh. Oh, it's a pesky button! <laughs> oh, you bugger! You bugger! I thought that was a hammered. But no, it's a pesky button right on the surface though. It's a good sign. I might detect around here a bit. Mm, don't sound that great, does it? I see green! I can see green! I might have something! Oh, what's that? What is that? That's a bit weird looking. Oh, it's a bit of a fancy shoe buckle, methinks. Has it got a hole there? It has. A bit of a very fancy shoe buckle. So when he lost his button, he probably bent down and uh, lost his buckle as well. Oh, I think I got something down this year old. Hmm, looks deep. So put my hand in that shit. Oh, some shit down there as well. Look, oh, get out. Yeah, deep, definitely deeper. Hmm. I might have to get back to you if I don't find it in a minute. I'll do give it a, no, one more go. It's the thing with that 17 inch coil, sometimes they can be quite deep. That nail yesterday was, oh, that's well beyond a foot. A bit of glass down there, look. And I just smashed it a bit as well, so I'll be careful. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Oh. It could be a hoard. 50,000 gold coins. Uh-oh. I've just seen something. Around the edge. It could be a hammered coin. What's that? Oh, it could be a love token. It could be a love token or a hammered coin. Woohoo! bit of silver anyway. Well, let's give it a wipe if there's any details left on there. Oh, not many, if any. Oh yeah, yeah it just, knows, just goes to show you can be having a really shite day and then all of a sudden, bang, hammered silver. Maybe. Um, Right, I'm going to see if I can straighten that. Uh, uh, uh. No. Right, I'm going to see if I can straighten that out, because, you know, they're not really worth anything, are they, these love tokens? And we'll see if we can get any details off of it, but it's looking a bit iffy. Yeah, I can almost see the top of a head there. I found a couple of bits of wood and I whopped it between the two. Give it a good whopping. Uh, uh, apart from that, it's pretty smooth. But what they used to do back in the late 1600s, because this will probably be a William III sixpence, what they used to do is they would rub it with their, a, show, a, a, a token of their love, love. They would rub it between their fingers, or I don't think they had sandpaper, and they would wipe off, get rid of all the detail, and they would make it nice and smooth and then they would bend it into this sort of S shape. I think it's to sort of nullify the actual coin so that it's not actually worth anything. Uh, but the value of this coin back then, you know, a silver sixpence back then, was something like 80 pounds today. You know, so a considerable amount of money. So it's a bit like 
the eighty pound bunch of flowers you gave your wife, or, or, or uh, let's say partner, your partner, <laughs> wife, or husband, partner, um, at, um, on your wedding anniversary, so to speak. So yeah, I think I can. Can I see a head? Mm, no, not really. So yeah, so it's it's like the very expensive bunch of flowers you gave your partner at Christmas or the wedding anniversary, you know, taken down to pub for a candle lit uh, meal, cost you a small fortune. So this was like the equivalent because they didn't have pubs. They might have had coaching houses, but I don't think they had pubs. Right, on to the next. Right, that's why I just had the uh, silver sixpence love token. I got a signal right next to it. 12.22. They might have been having anky panky just here in the field. And uh, dropped some coins as well. Oh, what's that there? Or they could have dropped a buckle during their anky panky. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. They probably did. Yeah, that lovely spectacle buckle right next to where I found the silver uh, sixpence love token. How about that? So you always check around buckles and buttons and coinage, especially love tokens, because if they've been having anky panky in the field, they were you know they they could have been dropping all sorts. <laughs> lovely jubbly. On to the next. Oh, you can imagine the scene. It's a bit like that film, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, where they have that little bit of a bust up and then they get into hanky panky and start ripping each other's clothes off. <laughs> so let's see what else they dropped. That's why I just had uh, the silver sixpence. That was a bit of iron. Not very good signal. Put it back in once it was uh, looking irony. But I got another signal right here. So they must be ripping each other's clothes off like crazy. Oh, could be another bit of silver. Uh-oh, that looks like silver. Hammered, woohoo, it's a hammered coin. Uh, it's a little bit before the, um, the 1600s, a little bit before. <laughs> a few hundred years before the 1600s. Oh yes! Oh what a day! Started off terrible and now, wow! Oh, let's, let's get you a bit closer to this epic coin. Oh. oh yes! Hammered! Uh, what can I see? Oh, it's one of those ones that have been sort of punched through a bit. Punched through a bit. Right. Can we see anything on there? Um, can we see the king's face? Ah, there. Well, I can see the letters quite clearly. Oh. I was almost going home at one point today. <laughs> And then, ah, oh, you just never know, do you, when this is going to come up. Let's just get that bit off there. Ah, uh, where's, um, ah, oh, ah, oh. uh, Detect in Scotland. We're going to have to all send him his best, best wishes to Detect in Scotland, because he's not very well. Um... Scottish Detectorist, is it? Oh, I've forgotten the name, sorry. <laughs> Detecting Scotland, yeah, he's not very well. He's been in hospital. So let's all send him best wishes. I'll put a link in the description to his channel. 
Yeah, he'd probably be shouting at the screen right now. It's, oh, London Mint. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lovely jubbly. Let's see if we can find some more. Woohoo! Yeah, his name's John. His name's John uh, Muck something. Um, can't unpronounceable surname. But uh, yeah, he's been really ill, so we've, we've got to set, all send him best wishes. Right. Let's see if we can find some more. <sighs> oh, it's right next to that hammered coin down there. Very low, could be a cut half. Hmm? Where'd it go? And a beep. Oh, it's right there. And it is a bit of cack. Oh, oh well, it's a bit of cack. <laughs> oh, we got a signal here. Could be another hammy. I'm about 10 feet from the other one. I haven't had it at me in quite a while. What's that there? Is that a rock? That's a rock. Mm, it's over to one side a little bit. That's a, usually not a very good sign. But if you're not big if you're not digging bent nails, you're not finding amets. Yeah, still a bit of finger digging. Oh, what's that there? We saw something shining then. Did I? No, can't see anything shining. All right, let's get a bit more out. All right. Oh, it's picking up the speed. I won't move that. Oh, what's that there? I can see something. It looks modern. It looks modern. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's not spendable, is it? Five uh, p unspendable. <laughs> On to the next. Oh my God! I think it's a triple silver day. I just saw something shining down the hole as I was digging it. It's a very bad signal. You know, it wasn't very good on the surface. Oh, you bugger! You bugger! It's a... Oh, look, it's a pesky, bloody... Ah! Oh. <laughs> it's an oil can uh, peel back lid. You bugger, that was shining down that hole like something crazy. 
Oh, with a hint of gold. <laughs> oh. Ooh, could be another hammered. We've got a bit of string from the farm. Probably off a bale. Long time ago that. Don't rock very well, does it? Oh, right there. That was a lucky stab. Oh, what's that? Is it a bit of cack? Yeah, I think it's cack. Ooh, it's breaking up cack. Yeah, it's just a bit of cack. Ugh. Well, that's going to be another hammy. Oh well, on to the next. Oh, sounds coinish. Hmm. Banging signal. Should be right here. Should be here. Should be. I've done my pointer. Oh, I tossed it over there. Did I get something then? I think I did, just there. Right, so we reset. That might pick it up now. No, then it might not. I yeah, definitely think I might have to change the battery in this. I've got these rechargeable things, they're pretty good. <laughs> right, I might have to get back to you when I eventually find it. Hopefully it's not a junction uh, connector for a, um, you know, post trough pipe. Oh, knackered. Oh, it's out. Oh, 12.34, could be silver. Oh, there's me pointer over there. Like it was in the side wall. Yeah. Must have been in the side wall. It's annoying. Dug a great big hole for nothing. <laughs> yep, that's knocked it out of there. Ah, there it is. I think it's a modern spendable. It's not going to be a pesky penny. Uh, yep, uh, spendable 1p, all that for one pesky p. Uh. Oh, that's it me lovers, I'm cream crackered. I'm gonna head off home. Yeah, I'm not going via the pub, I'm, I'm on the wagon. Yeah, I'm gonna put myself on the wagon for a little while. Uh, but, um, you know, dry January they call it. And then some bloke said, oh, you doing dry January? And I thought, Eh? Oh, I forgot about that because I did it last year. In fact, I actually did dry February as well. So it'll be dry January, a bit of January and a bit of February. Maybe I'll run it a bit longer as well. Um, yeah, so I've got to lose a bit of weight because if I get this super duper new metal detector, right, um, it involves um, a lot of walking because it's like you've got to walk up and down fields with the toe in this thing behind you because it's a great big coil. So I'll be up and down fields where, I've, where I think there might be Roman stuff and hordes and things like that. Up and down fields. And I could probably do that quite quickly. If I, put, get, if I get it on some plastic wheels, I could just go up and down. I could probably do a whole field in a day. And then I get home, put it up on the computer. Oh, that looks like a hoard of 50,000 gold coins. And then I'll come back with the detector and we dig it up together and find 50,000 gold coins. So yeah, I'm going to head off, put this video together, and, uh, and it's going to be like really epic.